Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about row ID and row num in Oracle database. Let us get into the agenda. After completing this session, we should be able to understand how to use row ID and row num and what is the difference. And using this particular functionality like of row ID and row num, how can we achieve a specific set of functionality or queries? Okay. Let us get into the understanding of what is row ID and row num. So row ID comes into picture like a, whenever you insert any record into the Oracle database table, you always get a unique number generated by Oracle server. So it is address of a particular record. So to say easy and manner, it's kind of a re, it's kind of a key which identifies a particular record of a particular table. For every re, for every record, for every record, you'll have a row ID and which is unique across your database. Okay, that is all about row ID. So it is taken care by Oracle database by default. As a developer, we does not need to involve in generating any of the any of uh, any of the row ID value. It will not work out. Okay. Coming to other one, row num. Unlike row ID, so row num is automatically generated after the fetching of a data query. Nothing but let us say whenever you execute a query. So the resultant data which is provided, which is provided by the Oracle database, after showing the result to the end user, it will assign row num to each particular record. Okay. Row num is never stored anywhere, unlike row ID. Row num is not stored anywhere, it is generated at runtime. And that is what is also called pseudo column. A pseudo column is nothing but a column which is not stored. Even row ID or row num, both are called pseudo column. And these columns are not stored anywhere. But when you are trying to, when you want to fetch a row ID or a row num of your record, you can simply mention them in a query. So that is why they are called pseudo column. Because as a column in a select query, you can ex you can fetch them. Okay. And you can also consider it as a function without having any arguments. So let us get into row ID. So just these are a couple of examples where you can, you know, like understand about row ID. So here I have a table called XX or IMP, XX or underscore MP. I want only design a table which is similar to the EMP table structure, but want only I have provided duplicate data in that. Generally, like, you know, if you consider the EMP table, you will never have any duplicate EMP number, but assume that like a hypothetical scenario where you have some kind of duplicate data in your particular table and then how can you find a duplicate so we know that like using using distinct we can always get a unique set of data so but let us say if you want to delete the non distinct data nothing but let us say you want to keep the distinct data on your table and you want to remove the duplicate data how can you achieve it right of course there could be a number of ways but using the row id this is one of the way we generally use most of the times okay so here if you observe here if you observe like uh, what i have done is select select all my data from emp and here if you observe i have good amount of duplicate data right here if you observe 10, like employee number 10 11 and you know like uh, some other yet to well so there are three records i can say there are three employee records which are duplicate now i want to delete the this particular duplicate data so what is the way i can do it so first thing is here if you observe the left side i mentioned a logic to fetch the unique set of records okay first try to understand how you can fetch the unique set of records later you can try it out how to delete the data Okay, first try to concentrate on how you fetch the unique data. Of course, you can use a distinct, but I don't want to use distinct. So in this scenario, what I'm trying, what I have done is like here, if you observe, so in this inside query, I just mentioned, I was trying to get the minimum of row ID from this table where e2.emp number is equal to even.emp number. I am passing the employee number from the parent to the child. So for that, for the matching employee record, get the minimum of row ID. Let us say you now here I have two records, right? Out of these two records, I want to get get the employee number, get the employee number 10, which is having the minimum of row ID, nothing but an old employee I can say. I mean, same employee number, but the old record I can say. So using this particular logic, I can I was able to fetch the distinct employee data using the row ID logic. Now once, let us say this is how you can get the, you can fetch the data, but let us say how do you delete the data? To, to delete the data here, if you observe, there are, of course you can use either min or maximum logic. Depending upon your interest, you can use the appropriate one. Here, what I've done. So we know that the inner query was retrieving us the all the minimum records for a given employee data. So in the outside one, what I've done is delete star from XX or IMP where row ID not in. 
So whichever the row IDs are not matching with this particular employee data, delete them. So by this, when I execute this one, I was getting the three records deleted. So using this particular logic, you can fetch the unique data as well as you can delete the duplicate data. So this is how we can try to work with the row ID. So before proceeding further, let us try to see some of the examples of row ID. So let us say, if I just execute this particular query, row ID comma row num. So here, if you observe, let me remove this order by first of all, okay? Just see this data now. Now here, if you observe for every record, I will have a unique row ID information, which is hexadecimal number. And also here, if you observe, I will also have a unique row number, which is generated at runtime, okay? So this row ID is stored somewhere, but row num is not stored anywhere. It just gen gets generated at runtime, okay? Now, so coming to the unique logic, let us say if you, if you observe this one, now what is happening? I'm getting only nine records, but actually in my employee table here, if you observe, select star from, I'm using XX or IMP, I have a duplicates in my data. Just see this one, count of records, dual records, and how many distinct EMP number I have? I just have only nine EMP records, right? And other way to find out, let us say if I want to find out which EMP, which EMP numbers are duplicated, how can you, how can you find that? What I can do is select star from EMP. I can just mention group by, group by EMP number having count of star greater than one. So now 10, 11, 12 are the three employee records for which I have duplicates, okay? Now, from this one, what I'm trying to find out, so I'm this from this one, I'm able to get the distinct set of data. Can you see 10, 11, 12 is not getting repeated now, but let us say if you see the earlier one, if you observe this one, can you see 10, 11, 12 got repeated. But when I'm trying to execute the query, which is at line number 18, I'm getting the distinct data. So here I mentioned minimum of row ID. Instead of minimum of row ID, you can use either maximum of row ID, but still you'll get the same data, okay? I'll get the same data, no difference. And now using the same logic, what you can do, you can try to find out the, you can try to delete the data also, okay? Now let us say I just copy the same query. So what I'll do is I'll just, instead of select start from, I'll mention delete, delete, star from where row id not in okay make sure that you use row id not in why because i want to delete all the records which are not matching with this particular criteria so that the duplicate records will be deleted now let us say i just execute this one i got three records deleted and if you try to observe this one let us say you should not get any records because there is no duplicate now of course i have not committed yet but still within the cache data nothing but the data which is available in the memory for this particular instance, I'm getting the information. Let us say I'll roll back. I'll roll back now. If you just see that, we'll see the three records again, okay? So this is how we can try to fetch the unique records as well as you can delete the duplicate records using the row ID functionality. Now let's get to the next one, row num. Row num is one of the very interesting and very important functionality when you're dealing with the database queries, okay? Now what is row num is all about? As, as we discussed, row num is a simple, a unique number which will generate at runtime whenever your query get fetched, okay? Now, let us understand the row num functionality first. So now let us say, select star from EMP, okay? Now here, if you observe, let me try to use the existing logic, yeah. Okay, let me just copy this logic. I just, I want to copy the columns, okay? So now here, if you observe, Okay, now I'm getting the data like a one, two, three, and all those things. What will happen is once your data got fetched from the table, after that row num will get assigned for each and every record one by one. Now, let us say if I want to order the data by including or row num, I want to order the data based on my employee number. If I try to use like this, let us say if I mention order by employee number, what will happen is I'll just mention order by employee number. And if you try to see here, what is happening? Okay, order by employee number, and you are able to see everything properly, right? There is no disturbance on the row num, but this is not the actual case every time. Just see this again. Let us say I want to order by salary. Just see what will happen now. Can you see this row num got disturbed? This row num got disturbed. The basic thing is when you're trying to use row num with order by logic, never use within the same query. Within the same query, never use order by and this one. The basic reason is like once your data got fetched for each and every record, 
for each for each and every record your particular row number will get assigned after that after that order will get applied here if you observe where is your order by class order by clause is after from class but when your data is fetched your data is fetched after the from class now once the once your from class is executed you will get all the data after that order by is getting applied nothing but even row number will also get applied once you fetch the data okay that is the reason when you mention order by salary in this case what is happening is you got the data in a particular order and you you sorted it you sorted it then what will happen is the corresponding row number will will not the corresponding row number which go, which it got assigned during fetch it will be like that itself right your order by will not consider that so that is the reason never use order by logic order by logic and row number in the same way now let us say if i use order by like this order by one what will happen i'll get a proper data okay so that is the reason let us say when you want to use any of the top end analysis query never use order by and the row num logic in the same thing okay that is what i want to tell you in this particular scenario and also for your for your understanding so in the select query the major important clauses you have is select from where group by having and order by the order of execution or evaluation of a select uh, sql query is it starts with from then the where group by having order by and the last your select will be shown in the out, considered in the output okay so now coming to the next sample this is one of the very interesting sample again with respect to the row num logic so here if you have tried we all most of the times you would have tried like a row num is equal to 1 or less than 2 or less than less than in a particular number it always works but let us say if you try to assign a number to the row num other than is equal to other than 1 it will never work so let us understand what is the reason behind it so what will happen is as we discussed just now when your from is executed by default oracle assigns a specific number to each and every record now what will happen if you mention a particular row num with a condition let us say this where condition what it will do is it will try to apply the where condition on each and every row which is fetched by your database let us say assume that like your particular from emp clause is fetching you 10 records and you applied where row num is equal to 5 what will happen it will try to get the first record and see what is the row num of it it you will get 1 the 1 will be compared with 5 1 is equal to 5 is always false so it will be false that first record will be scrap you will get a second record but row num for that will for the second record also will be 1 because you never had any row you never had you never fetched any successful record which is passing your filtering criteria so that is why what will happen 1 is equal to 5 is always compared for all the 10 rows so none of them will be satisfied you will never get any data when you use a row num with this particular is equal to condition other than one so that is the reason if you at all if you want to try to work with row num make sure that you use is equal to one or use a respective less than condition as per your requirement okay some more examples on the row num logic okay the simple samples on the top in analysis most of the times we use row num for the purpose of you know like top in analysis i mean to say like let us say get the top five old employees or the latest latest employees of your particular organization or the top three salaried employees or the top 10 employees who are having a good amount of commission so how how this works let us see this examples now so let us see this example now so here if you observe i want to fetch the top salaried employees first of all what i'll do is try to write a simple query order the data based on the salary now here if you observe now what is happening here top salaried employees i mentioned right you have to mention descending here okay you have to mention descending now what is what i am getting i am getting all the employees who are sorted based on the salary now now what you have to do is in the outer query now apply the row num in the outer query apply the row number less than 4 so what will happen so it will try to fetch the first record which is second well, it will be less than 4 good it will be considered it will fetch the second record it will assign row number 2 for that 2 is less than 4 similarly it will assign it will get the third record it will assign row num 3 for it 3 is less than 4 next time it will get the fourth record 4 less than 4 is equal to false you will not get any records after 4 after 3 i mean now can you see we are getting three records these are the three employees who are getting highest paid similarly if you at all if you want to get the old employees right old employees nothing but high date ascending or you can ignore it because ascending is the one which is considered by default right 
see, this is how we can get the top five old employees okay let us say if you want to get the top three latest employees what do you have to do order by high date descending you'll get the latest three employees so this is how we can try to work with the top and analysis on any of the table okay thank you